All right, music fans, welcome back. Harmless Dave here talking real music in real time for real people just like you and just like me. Um, very sad news coming from uh, the world of guitar playing, the music world. Jason Becker, who I first heard on David Lee Roth's album, A Little Ain't Enough, um, who replaced Steve Vai, who obviously was uh, replacing Eddie Van Halen to some degree. One thing that Roth does well is he picks really great guitar players. Now, if you know anything about Jason Becker, not too long after that, he was diagnosed with uh, ALS. Uh, some people call it Lou Gehrig's disease. Um, it's the same thing that Stephen Hawking lived with for over five decades. Typically, um, the life expectancy after a diagnosis is maybe five years. Uh, Jason Becker has lived uh, 30 years now with this. Unfortunately, he lost his ability to play guitar. Uh, he can't walk, talk, or even breathe on his own. Um, but he never lost his will to live, and he's been around for 30 years inspiring uh, many other great musicians. Um, his last album was called Triumphant Hearts and it was released back in 2018. And it featured some of the great guitarists who are still out there, including uh, Joe Satriani, Steve Vai, Neil Sean, Steve Morse, Paul Gilbert, and Joe Bonamassa. Um, this is a guy, imagine if this didn't happen, uh, he would have the kind of recognition and he's kind of getting that recognition as a musician and as a composer. Uh, and it's a brilliant story. He was a child prodigy um, and he started off in this uh, guitar duo called uh, Cacophony with his friend, Marty Friedman. And he was only 19 years old in 1989 and then David Lee Roth plucked him out and said, this kid at the time is going to be my guitar player. So um, it's just amazing the will of certain people to live and to be part of this experience that we're all living through, which is life. And also, and these days you see the world is upside down and Jason Becker and his father, who uh, invented a lot of stuff to keep uh, Jason involved with music. I think he, he can actually type or create using eye movements, which is just amazing technology, but it's allowed Jason Becker the freedom to compose and to still be an artist. So, um, you know, the RMO family here praying for uh, Jason Becker. Um, He's an inspiration and uh, obviously his family has uh, been with him every step of the way and the music community at large has been incredibly uh, supportive. <clears throat> when you count your blessings each day, think of all those people who have struggled for so long. Jason Becker is one of those people and um, it's just an amazing blessing not to be afflicted with something like that and to just think to yourself wow he has more determination than most of the people on the planet and typically when you're beset with something like that um, you can react one of two ways you can just throw in the towel or you can do what jason becker did so um, an inspiration and somebody who you should check out if you're not familiar with jason becker's work uh, Start With A Little Ain't Enough, that's an album in 91 that was met with mixed reviews because um, grunge was starting to happen. <laughs> it's another one of those albums that got destroyed by a format which um, quite honestly ruined the music industry. I'm just gonna say it because I can and uh, you don't have to agree with me, but that's my take on it. In any event, uh, thanks for watching and uh, have yourself a great day.